Okay, moving on to the next one like we do, uh, we're going to be doing the new initial review of another knife that I purchased and want to try out for a little while. This one is called the Boa 2 uh, Pocket Knife. Um, I bought this at the time that I bought that big clutch of knives off of Wish that some of you don't like me reviewing. Um, which is fine, but in all reality, just about everything else is still packed up in boxes and I don't know exactly where it is. And this is the one that I found when I started unpacking. So this is the new knife I'm going to be trying out for the next couple weeks. Uh, got it off Wish. It is the BOA B -O -A 2, number 2, BOA 2 folding pocket knife. I don't know anything about this. I don't even know if this is a clone or just a cheap offhand brand that uh, costs little because the knife was $17.14. The shipping was like $8.99. So we're almost $30 in on this pocket knife from Wish, which is currently out of stock. Uh, I just checked it this this morning. So we'll get into the initial review. The Wishbot Boa 2, that's a number two, uh, from Wish pocket knife. So the box is kind of cool. Um, as knife boxes go looks pretty standard um you've got your your code with the uh characters up top right and the cool thing about this box is it's got an open magnetic flap which keeps it closed so i don't know uh, if you're a guy like me i like boxes i like containers this one's kind of fun so it comes with the foam insert which not a lot of uh, clone knives or junk clone knives really come with a cutout foam insert. So I'm wondering if maybe this knife is just its own brand of knife uh, sold on Wish that isn't a clone because this thing is beefy. And I don't just mean like a bunch of thick material thrown together junkily beefy. I mean, this thing is actually fairly well made. Uh, surprisingly, um, the weight to it is, it's got a great weight. I mean, some people might find it a little heavy, but if you guys know anything about me, uh, I like heavier knives. I feel like I've got big bear paw, clumsy hands, and sometimes a, a beefy, heavier tool in my hand just feels more secure. So that's usually my preference for these things, but this thing is just really well made and it's got like the muted out, um, gunmetal silver, or the, well, I guess the gunmetal gray with this, it's just a plastic. I'm, I'm not sure if it's any kind of special scale here, but it's just a plastic. The way it's designed though is really sleek and, and I've, I like the way it feels, honestly. Uh, right out, right out of the gate, this thing, this little, uh, you know, almost $30 knife from Wish, aesthetically, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, the weight, right? So we'll, we'll get to my five points or six points, whatever, see if I can remember which they are. But uh, aesthetics is one of them. I remember that. It's been a while, guys. Aesthetics, weight. Uh, and then the next one's going to be functionability, right? So let's see how it works. Ah, that was smooth. Very smooth. Let's try that one more time just to make sure. Yeah, see? Well, I'm doing it straight up and down, but... Yeah, I mean, it could use a little work. Functionability, I've got time to break it in. See, there we go. That was a good one. All right, uh, look at that blade, though. That's got, like, the stone-washed, muted steel, which looks awesome, coupled with the orange flip nodes, I guess. It's not really like a bolt. They're made out of plastic. We'll see how well that holds up. Um, but, you know, the orange with the, the muted gunmetal gray and the black uh, designed scale here, man. This thing looks, this thing looks slick, right? And I love, I love the the drop point here of the blade. I like the the contour and the texture. This is nice. Uh, the more I mess around with it, the more aesthetically pleasing it is. So, um, you know, we we like the aesthetics, right? We like the weight to it. Uh, functionality, we can work with it. It's not ideal, but we can work with it. Uh, comfortability. It does feel a little off, like this this thick piece here, the handle feels a little funny, just like there's a little too much. Maybe if they had done the, the littlest concave back and pulled pulled like a small belly, reverse belly into this, it might fit a little better. Um, 
the pocket clip is plastic. So that, I guarantee you, I will be surprised if that's not broken in two weeks just because of the amount of movement I do with these things in my pockets and the amount of times I pull them out and put them back in. So that's not something I'm excited about. Uh, also something I'm not excited about, it's got a spring release here under the under the blade, a tension release. And I'm not a fan of these, any of you that watch these videos, but that is that is pretty smooth. It's not super stiff. It's not unreasonably irritating. It's pretty simple. And one thing I like about this is your finger flick node on the back here serves as a de facto thumb guard for dropping the blade down so I don't feel like I'm going to snag my thumb. And uh, yeah, so overall... On those four points, weight, comfortability, aesthetics, and function, I feel like this thing's dang. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to seem like I'm just giving knives the best ratings all time, but eight out of ten. Eight out of ten is a good one for me. I think eight out of ten right now. And then I will do the sharpness test using my patented, uh, not patented, my famous sticky note test, which I don't really know how uh, viable this translates over to, but uh, it's got my notes for the, for the video, so I don't forget certain things. Um, we're going to cut it. Nah, I mean, it's not the sharpest bulb in the shed, this one. Uh, definitely cuts could feel a little bit of tension pulling that through and it doesn't feel that dangerously sharp out of the box so it's got an edge cuts the paper i'll give the edge a seven out of ten uh overall sharpness aesthetics weight functionality and comfortability I don't know if there was another one, uh, a sixth point or not. It's been a while since I've done this. Um, oh, sturdiness. That was the other one, sturdiness. There are six points. This is sturdy, built like a freaking brick. I'm telling you, this thing, you, you could bring this to a gunfight and huck it at somebody and probably win the gunfight. It's got that kind of sturdiness and that kind of weight to it. It's good. It's going to be a good knife, I hope. We'll see, because if it doesn't cut worth a ding then I'm going to be very disappointed in it. But right out of the box, the BOA 2. Uh, I don't know if this is official, clone. I don't know if they even clone these or if these have their own just like low-end cost brand and whatever. Uh, but I bought it on Wish a long time ago in a big, big clutch of knives that I bought. Um, solid, solid 7.5 out of 10 on this knife. And we'll see if that changes uh, anytime soon in the next, next week or two, um, BOA, B-O-A, the number two, currently out of stock on Wish, cost me just about $30, and my initial review right out of the box is a seven and a half out of ten, and it does look very sleek, and I am excited to try this knife out. I will hopefully see you guys back in about, uh, two weeks, three weeks on this one, and I'll let you know. Um, stay tuned. More videos are coming now that I have moved into the new house and the renovations are done. I will have more time to start uh, researching more treasures and doing my treasure videos as well as a lot of other topics that uh, me and the wife have been talking about putting up on this show, uh, Filibuster Media. We plan on talking about all kinds of stuff, anything and everything. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, uh, please like and subscribe. Every one of those helps the channel out. We would hopefully like to grow this in the future. And videos coming will hopefully have less fluff, less fat, and less nonsensical stuff. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.